Corner kick. I remember the day before the competition began, Billy Wright saying that the last 20 minutes would be in England's favour on this pitch. The crowd seemed to sense it. Ball with the corner. Hurst. What a chance it Peters. And that undoubtedly was a, a, a well taken goal by Peters. He could have uh, he could have blasted that over the top, but uh, he stabbed at it, kept his knee over the ball. And England 2-1 in the lead now, deservedly so, because they've been piling on the pressure. And what I am convinced is that Bobby Moore will drive them on now for the last uh, 12 minutes There's of this game. He's really going to drive them now. A chink in every armour. Peters found it with a great header. Now it was... ...and put England in possession. Peters scored. And that showed. England scored twice to run out 3-1 winners on aggregate and qualify for the final tournament for the first This was an England raid which eventually led to their first goal. Hunt with a short corner to Charlton, taking the return pass. He centred and Peters headed home. In the 35th minute, England were one up. Were they satisfied? Not like. Ball being organised by McMordy, lining him up for Jennings. Lee. Peters! And there it is! Martin Peters! It's gone and rather against the run of the play after some very spirited and dangerous Irish football Martin Peters from a dead ball situation putting England one goal into the lead this is ball Hurt is alone up front at the moment Newton good running there by Peters Beautiful running. And that's it. And Peters once more has scored an important goal for England. And he made it by running intelligently from a deep position. The Scottish defence had no cover there at all and were completely exposed by that. Now what Peters there, running into a gap a mile wide, made the space for himself, hit the ball well. And Harry had beaten by the sheer pace of the shot. Second half, and now it's England on the attack once more. Alan Ball to lead. Peters. Well laid back, and beautifully taken. Superbly taken by Martin Peters, who just used the side of his foot. But again, the credit to Alan Ball, who laid it back. Now what Peters played to Ball here. There is the 1-2. And now watch Peters, all the time in the world, Herriot on the six-yard line, with a gap on his left, and it's 4-1 now to England. Peters' second goal, England's fourth. Bobby Charlton. Peters, and it's there. Jeff Hurst didn't touch it, the goal scorer was Martin Peters. Hurst, and it's there. The goal, after less than two minutes, Martin Peters turns up once again with the vital goal for the world champion, and they did it in 90 seconds. Six minutes of the first half left, a corner to England, who lead 1-0. Charlton to take it. Peters, 2-0. And Peters has got the vote.
Here's the goal. Keith Nielsen. First of Peter's going in together on the far post, and it was Peter who gets the touch. <laughs> Contra xera tal-lop, 5 minuti wara l-Ingliżi skorjaw. Meta wara azzjoni ta' Alan Ball, Harvey laqat xazin lejn Martin Peters, li bxut fil-bax ehlip lil-mitzi. First corner of the match. And Ball will take it. Chilas, Peters, Hammond! And he's given a goal. He's given a goal, was the ball over the line when it was handled, and certainly was good. So Holton watching uh, Chivers there, really quite a physical tussle there, pushing and shoving all the time. Ball now with this one, and on the far side, Martin Peters, yes, that's for England. And Peters, who's had such a poor game so far, steals in as he does so often, and that's 1-0 for England.